Introducing Hike Vision Smart Managed Switches with Hike Central. Our EI managed switches are equipped with features that make them easier to repair and maintain, supporting a reduction in network downtime. This video will provide an overview of features and how to configure the switches. Log in to the Hike Central web client with your username and password. Go to the physical view to add the device into Hike Central. There, you can choose different types of devices on the left. Please note visual topology requires all devices to be added to Hike Central. Visual topology management provides an easy to read, visualized 2D layout of the network devices that are connected to the smart managed switch. Go to the network transmission device to add the smart managed switch, just like any other Hike Vision device. Now launch the Hike Central Control Client and enter your username and password to continue. View the visual topology by going to Health Monitoring. Placing your mouse cursor on the line in between devices will give you a quick overview of the connection, such as IP address, port status, and the traffic information. Click on settings in the upper right hand corner. On this configuration page, you can change the auto refresh interval from 30 seconds all the way up to 15 minutes. Display topology level and bandwidth threshold. Right-click on any of the Smart Managed Network switches and select Details to view status information. A Device Details window will open to display information like memory, CPU, PoE power usage, and port information. You can also reboot the switch from the right upper corner. There are three more tabs on the top. Port status will provide bitrate, flow control, and more. Port statistics will give you the current network traffic information for each port. The device alarm will display any abnormal events. Right-click on the Smart Manage switch and then select Remote Configuration. And a configuration window will pop up. This is similar to any other Hike Vision device configuration. From this pop-up window, you can view the device information such as model, serial number, and firmware version. You can add additional users under the User tab. You can reboot, restore default settings, restore all, import, export, and upgrade the Smart Switch firmware under the System Maintenance tab. Log Query can provide the logs and history for a Smart Switch. The Security tab will list the locked IP addresses. Users can also change the network information, such as IP address, ports, and DNS under the Network tab. Port configuration allows you to change the bitrate, duplex, flow control, and more. Right-click on the Smart Switch and select View Device Logs. A new window will generate. Select the Smart Switch under the device on the left, then choose what type of log to display under Type. Then choose the log period under Time, then click Search. 
the detailed log report will generate to the right and pages will be shown on the bottom. To go back to the topology, go to the menu bar on the left and select Real-Time Overview. Now we're going to unplug the Ethernet cable on the Smart Managed Switch port 5 to simulate what happens when a PoE device is disconnected from the network. Because the auto refresh interval is set to 1 minute, I'm going to click the refresh button on the top instead of waiting. Now you can see the Smart Managed Switch has turned red, indicating there is an issue. You can also see the link between the smart switch and the disconnected device has turned red as well. Right-click on the smart switch and select Details. On the device status page, you can see the port number 5 has turned red. The device alarm tab will also display the related alarm information. This window will display which port is triggering the alarm and details about the alarm. We're not going to acknowledge the alarm event using the option in the left upper corner Instead, we're going to reconnect the Ethernet cable on port 5. When the device comes back online, the red notification will disappear. The smart switch will return back to normal, and the device alarm event will disappear. Here we're unplugging the port number 5 again and the alarm will reappear. In order to manually clear the alarm, we're going to right click on the smart switch and select details. Then clear all alarm events by clicking acknowledge on the upper left corner under the device alarm tab. Now the smart switch is no longer in abnormal mode. Right-click on any camera, then select Details. A window will be generated. Click on the Camera Details tab on the top and click Play to view the live feed from the camera. The PTZ control will display after clicking on the PTZ control icon on the lower right corner of the video feed when viewing a PTZ camera. Users can also switch between main and substream using the stream icon in the lower right corner of the video feed. The visual topology supports keyword and IP address search. Above the topology, you can enter the device name or the IP address, and it will locate the device within the topology. Signal transmission display can display only the path between a camera and a smart managed switch. To use this function, click on the signal display icon next to the search bar. Then select the path between the two devices. You can see the drop down menu is also categorized and easily locates the device. Non-related topology information will be hidden. All features and functions will remain functional as intended, even if they're not displayed. Thank you for watching.